Gordon Toybean's finished near the highs in Thursday's trade, but follow through momentum failed to materialize in Friday's session as grains came back under pressure with corn, beans, and wheat all settling lower in Friday's trade. At the close, July corn futures three and a quarter cents lower to settle at 4.48 and three quarters. The new crop December contract lost two and a quarter cents to close at 4.67 and a quarter. July soybeans 20 and three quarter cents lower to settle at 11.79 and a quarter. The new crop November contract nine and a quarter cents lower to 11.57 and three quarters. July Chicago wheat 12 cents lower on the day, settling at 6.27 and a half. A strong rally in the U.S. dollar following a better than expected non-farm payroll report may have added a headwind to prices. And that report showed private non-farm payrolls rose by 229,000 in the month of May. That was above the average analyst estimate of 170,000 and well above the previous reports, 158,000. Also this morning, the Atlanta Fed GDP Now forecast showed a better than expected reading. That came in at 3.1% expectations were to be unchanged at 2.6 percent. Now there was a flash sale of soybeans this morning reported. This one to the tune of 104,000 metric tons for delivery to China during the 2023-2024 marketing year. This is just the second flash sale of soybeans to China so far this year. The other one was for 297,000 metric tons back on January 19th.